service in the month of of uh, September. Hii ndio ibada yetu ya kwanza kabisa ya mwezi huu wa tisa. And uh, we thank God for the Lord has been very faithful to us throughout the year. Shukuru Mungu amekuwa mwaminifu umbali huu wa mwaka huu. And as we started we have seen the faithfulness of God. Kama vile tulivyoanza mwaka huu tumeuona uaminifu wa Bwana. And uh, we can see say all of us this far the Lord has brought us. Na tunaweza kusema sote kwa pamoja ya kwamba umbali huu Bwana ametuleta. And if it were not for the Lord we Na wouldn't have come this far. Na kama siyo Bwana pengine hatungefika mahali tumefika. When we started the year we started the year by saying that we shall pursue we shall overtake and we also said we shall recover all without fail tulipoanza mwaka tulisema ya kwamba ni mwaka ambao tunafuatilia tufikie turejeshe bila kukosea kwa lolote lile and this far we have pursued the year na mwaka huu kabisa tumeweza kufuata mambo mengi and our vision na hata maono yetu and uh, we have pushed for nine months na tumesukuma kabisa miezi hii tisa and there is a lot we can say that the lord has done na kuna mengi ambayo tunaweza sema ya kwamba bwana ametusaidia kuyafanya both in our lives and also in the church kwetu kama watu binafsi na pia kama kanisa and therefore we have the reason to thank god na kwa hivyo tuna kila sababu ya kumshukuru mungu and as we now come to uh, the last part of the year na tunapoingia katika kipindi cha mwisho cha mwaka huu where we are saying it is the last quarter ile tunasema ya kwamba ni ile kwota ya mwisho we want to uh, thank god and we tell the lord we want to finish with the lord tunataka kumwambia bwana ya kwamba tunataka kumaliza na wewe bwana and it is good also to pray for the last quarter of the year na ni vizuri ya kwamba tuombe sana kwa ajili ya kipindi hiki cha mwisho cha mwaka huu just the way we started the lord will help us to finish well kama vile bwana alivyotusaidia tulipoanza hata mwisho atatusaidia pia we have been looking at the book of joshua tumekuwa tukiangalia kitabu cha joshua and uh, i want to say this uh, month we declare it is the month of impact and occupation na kama vile tumekuwa tukisema nataka kusema ya kwamba mwaka huu ni mwaka wa kugawiwa na pia kuweza kumiliki it is a month we want to declare that we are going to occupy ni mwaka ni mwezi ambao tunatangaza ya kwamba tutamiliki we want to be settled by the lord tunataka ya kwamba tukaweza kupumzishwa na bwana bwana asifiwe mwadani agosho and uh, therefore we are going to find our space kwa in the kingdom of god kwa hivyo tutapata nafasi yetu katika ufalme wa mungu where we are going to settle mahali ambapo tutaweza kupata kutulia and uh, we have been looking at the book of joshua na tumekuwa tukiangalia kitambu cha joshua and we saw joshua was told to be strong na tukaona ya kwamba eh, joshua aliambiwa ya kwamba uwe hodari and to be courageous na uwe na ushujaa uh, because he's going to take the children of Israel across the river Jordan. Kwa sababu ni wewe utakaye wavukisha wana wa Israeli mto huu wa Yordani. And this month we shall be looking at how we need to settle. Na mwezi huu tutaangalia vile ambavyo tunastahili kuweza sasa kutulia. Because when they crossed the river, kwa sababu walipovuka ule mto, they went into the land of inheritance. Waliingia katika ile nchi ya ahadi, where they are going to be settled. Mahali ambapo sasa watapata kuirithi and occupy. Na wakaweze kuimiliki. And all of us we need to settle and occupy. Na sote tunastahili sasa kutulia na kuweza ku, kuirithi. But to take us a little bit back, na tunapoanga tunapotazama nyuma kidogo, for lands to close the liver ili ya kwamba tukavuke mto and say to there are some things that we need to know na tukaende kutulia kuna mambo ambayo tunastahili kuya, kuyajua that we cannot occupy ya kwamba hatuwezi kumiliki the promised land ile nchi ya ahadi with the egyptian mindset tukiwa na ile mawazo ya kule misri because there was there was some mindset the the children of Israel had kwa sababu walikuwa na mawazo ambayo wana wa Israeli walikuwa nayo and i've been looking at the book of joshua na tunapoangalia katika kitabu cha joshua and you realize that the the many people 
who, who left Egypt na tunaona watu wengi wa wale ambao walitoka kule Misri they never had a chance to cross the river hawakuanza kuvuka ule mto in fact they all died in the wilderness na wengi wao waliweza kufia kule jangwani only those that were born in the wilderness ni wale tu ambao walizaliwa pale jangwani were able to cross over walioweza tu kuvuka and occupy the land na wakaweza kumiliki ile nchi because the lord could not allow those people who left egypt to go and settle in the promised land kwa sababu mungu hagewakubalia wale wote ambao walitoka misri kwenda kuimiliki ile nchi because their mind were, were not Changed. kwa sababu ya mawazo yao hayakuwa yamebadilika and you will realize only Joshua and Caleb na tunaona ya kwamba ni Yoshua pekee wakiwa na Caleb were able to cross ambao waliweza tu kuvuka even Moses himself never crossed the river Jordan hata Musa mwenyewe hakuweza kuvuka mto wa Yordani God only made uh, Moses to go up to the mountain and to see the Lord where The Lord promised the children. Mungu tu alimwezesha Musa kupanda tu pale mlimani na kutazama nchi ile ambayo walikuwa wamewaahidia. And uh, in the book of Joshua chapter 3, na katika kitabu cha Yoshua mlango wa 3, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, uh, from first number 7, kuanzia mstari wa 7, this is where the Lord is telling Joshua, Hapa today I will begin to exhort you in the eyes of all Israel so they may know that i am with you as i was with moses joshua mlango wa 3 7 inasema bwana akamwambia yoshua hivi leo nitaanza kukutukuza mbele ya israeli wote wapate kujua ya kuwa mimi nitakuwa pamoja na wewe kama nilivyokuwa pamoja na musa tell the priest who carried the ark of the covenant when you reach the end of jordan's water go and stand in the river nawe uamuru hao makuhani waliochukua saduku la agano ukawaambie mtakapofika ukingo wa maji ya, ya Jordani simameni katika Jordani so so he was telling he was preparing the first thing he did he prepared Joshua jambo la kwanza ambalo Mungu alifanya ni kumwandaa Joshua and he told Joshua to be strong na akamwambia Joshua uwe imara and to be courageous na uwe mshujaa because he's going to lead the children of Israel across the river kwa sababu utawavukisha hawa wana Israeli kutoka kwa mto huu then Joshua was to prepare the people kwa hivyo naye Joshua angewatayarisha watu and uh, let me let me first of all talk about the mindset of the children or to understand the mind, what the mindset is wacha kwanza niongee kuhusu mawazo ama ile ngome ya kimawazo ambayo watu walikuwa nayo mindset is a mind that is fixed ile ngome ya mawazo ni ile hali ambayo imesimama pale it is a mind that is almost impossible to move it ni mawazo ambayo hayataki kusukumwa ama kutoka pale and uh, when you compare egypt no. and uh, and at Canaan na unapolinganisha Kanani na na, na na Misri Egypt is a place where Israel became a nation Mis- Misri ni mahali ambapo wana wa Israeli walifanyika kuwa taifa They were Hebrews they came to Egypt as nomads Walikuwa wa Hebrania waliokuja wali katika nchi hii ya Misri wakiwa tu ni, ni, ni ni, ni, ni walishaji ama ni wafugaji and the nomads are people who move from one place to the other na wafugaji ni wale watu ambao wanatoka maeneo moja hadi maeneo mengine and the word hebrew na jina kihebrania means strangers linamaanisha hawa ni watu ambao eh, sio wenyeji ni wageni so they, they were strangers walikuwa they, wageni so they were hebrews they were nomads kwa hivyo walikuwa ni wageni walikuwa hawa ni wafugaji so when they were in egypt kwa hivyo walipokuwa katika nchi ya misri although they were given a fertile land called goshen hata kama walipewa nchi yenye rutuba nchi ya gosheni they were they were strangers in that land bado walikuwa wageni katika hiyo nchi so egypt hivyo, also is a place that formed them kwa hivyo ile Misri ni nchi ambayo iliweza kuwatengeneza. And if we try to contextualize with our with, with us. Na kutukitaka kujihusisha na hili jambo. Egypt is a place that forms you. Ya kwamba Misri ni ile hali ambayo inakutengeneza wewe. It is a place that you grow out of. Ni maeneo ambayo wewe unakulia. 
and it shapes your character and your outlook. Na iko na kutengeneza mtazamo wako wa mambo. Egypt created the knowledge of Israel. Kwa hivyo ile ile Misri ni ile hali ambayo ilitengeneza mtazamo wa wana wa Israeli. Because they grew there. Kwa sababu walikulia pale. They saw things there. Waliona mambo pale and uh, it was a school. Kwa hivyo ni kama ilikuwa ni shule. A system. Kwa hivyo ilikuwa ni kama ile eh, eh, mikakati. And it was it wo, it had a negative impact on the Israelites. Ilikuwa ni mifumo ambayo ilikuwa na adhari mbaya kwa wana wa Israeli. Because it shaped them to be slaves. Kwa hivyo iliwachonga ili kuangalia mambo kama watumwa. And therefore when they were in Egypt. Kwa hivyo walipokuwa katika nchi hii ya Misri. They had the minds of slaves. Walikuwa na mawazo ya ya ya, ya, ya Ya and and for your information they remained in Egypt for 400 years na kwa kwa juza ni kwamba walikaa katika nchi hii kwa miaka 400 and uh, according to the bible scholars those are like like seven generations na kutokana na wasomi wa biblia wanasema ilikuwa ni kama vizazi saba so they 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 gave birth there walizaa pale and they died na wakafa pale others gave birth and died wengine wakazaa wakazaliwa na wakafa so they lived there and kwa, they multiplied there kwa hivyo walikaa pale na wakaongezeka pale so they did not know any other land kwa hivyo hawakujua nchi nyingine that is where they were hapo ndipo walijua egypt can fit your appetite misri inaweza kukufanya ukaweza kuwa na ile ile tamaa in relation to the government they were to serve kulingana na ile serikali ambayo mnaitumikia so they were conditioned kwa hivyo walikuwa wamewekewa vikwazo and that is where they were na hapo ndipo walikuwa and i tried to imagine about and i was thinking about this at night na nilikuwa ninafikiria hivi usiku those people that gave birth to us our fathers wale watu ambao walituzaa wazazi wetu were living in colonial era walikuwa wanaishi nyakati za utawala wa 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 bebelu and when you look at them na unapoangalia they they behave sometimes they behave like slaves wakati mwingine wanafanya mambo kama wao bado ni watumwa some of the mannerism that we see with the old people ujile hali ambayo wanafanya mambo yao wale wazee they 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 copied from their 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 masters waliweza kwa sungus waliweza kuyatoa hizo picha kutoka kwa wale ambao walikuwa watawala wao they were subdued walikuwa wame wame wametawaliwa some of them were serving their their their, their, their those settlers walikuwa wanatumikia wale masetla even some of them were called boy hata wengine walikuwa wanaitwa boy so sometimes when you hear those old people using the word boy kwa hivyo unapowasikia wale wazee wakisema maboy ama boy ni kwa sababu waliitwa boys ni told meta go boys when they were serving their their slave masters wakati walipo wakitumikia wale watawala wao when you see them uh, they, they start even the way our teachers treated us when we were we are growing those people who are teaching us hata wale walimu jinsi ambavyo walikuwa wanachuchukulia na kutufunza ni vile walivyo waliona they were teaching us the way they were taught walikuwa wanatufundisha jinsi ambao wao walifunzwa there is a way those masters thought children african children should be taught kuna ile hali ambao wale ambao ni watawala walikuwa wanafikiria jinsi ambavyo waafrika wanastahili kutunzwa the way we were beaten vile ambavyo tulichapwa in fact in school when we were growing up wakati tulikuwa shuleni tukilipokuwa tukisoma ukienda nyumbani bila kupikwa kiboko siku moja ukiadhira msiyo inuke mudhenyo wa mtahuri tu ilikuwa ni kama miracle kwa tuwekaka tariki ama na baba brenda you can agree with me Jua baba blender anaweza kubaliana nami. It was a miracle. Ilikuwa hiyo ni mjui, ni muujiza. Even there was a day kuna wakati ilikuwa ni kama wakati wa kemandi ilikuwa ni wa kemandi that, that we had to be beaten. Hata no good reason. Hata kulikuwa ni kama wakati wa kemandi wakati ule tungeweza tu kuchapwa na hakuna sababu ya kuchapwa. Kemandi ni ni ni, ni kama karamu. Eh, okay. I know. Ile kemandi ile. Yeah. Yeah. Na tulikuwa tunatoleshwa sweta alafu walimu wanapiga laini kila mtu ana kiboko mnapita hapo pi mnapigwa kama tulipiga hiyo furaha na tukaridhiwa laini mwalimu wote na ifokoto kahurua nikemadi 
for no good reason. Na hakuna sababu maalum ya kuchapoa. And we could not complain. Na hatungeweza kulalamika. We thought it was right for teachers to uh, to beat us tulikuwa and, tu... uh, and to do all what we, they, they used to do. Tulikuwa tunafikiria hii ni ni, ni ni hali yao walimu lazima tungechapoa. Na walimu wanisamee wa, wa hapa. Na walimu majo ma, heretu haha. Ji ilikuwa namna hiyo we were beaten. Ilikuwa hivyo tulichapoa. Today if you beat my child the way i was beaten i will take you to court siku ya leo ukimchapa mwanangu kama vile nilivyochapwa nyakati hizo nitakupeleka mahakamani even sometimes i wonder why were we not dying na sasa katoto wakipigwa kidogo kanakufa you, you actually don't understand na wakati huu na nafikiria kwa nini tulichapwa hivyo vyote hatukukufa na watoto wetu wakati huu kimguza ako mashakani and and we believe that even our parents na tunaamini ya kwamba hata wazazi wetu they believed it is the light of a of a teacher to build uh, to uh, uh, to beat the child waliamini ya kwamba ilikuwa ni haki ya mwalimu kumchapa mtoto na ukifanya kosa kidogo alikuwa anakuambia ni tabia mwalimu na gya kuhori ile ogia hetiria hanini mshiari yako iraga ne gothi kuera mwalimu na pegine atakupeleka akupige bere ya mwalimu na amwambie mwalimu mpige na giathire na wake nya shukuru agotware agohorire bere ya mwalimu na mwalimu akohore bere ya mshiari it was slave mentality ilikuwa ni utumwa ni mafikra ya kiutumwa the mind set ilikuwa ni mawazo ambayo yalikuwa wakati ule and this is the kind of mind that the children of Israel had they were not free in their might na hii ndio mawazo ambayo waisraeli walikuwa nayo hawakuwa wamekombolewa katika mawazo yao they never thought they could live without being slaves hawangefikiria ya kwamba wange god help us bwana na atusaidie weze kusonga mbele and to be redeemed na tukaweze kukombolewa from slave mentality kutokana na mawazo hayo ya kiutumwa because sin and slaves us kwa sababu dhambi inatufunga and there are sin that 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 enslave us and people feel like ni kwa mwito we are free mahali ambapo tuko huru bwana asifiwe bwana ni agoshwa and when you give your life to the lord jesus christ wakati unampatia bwana yesu maisha yako you need to be free unastahili kuwekwa huru egypt and canaan are at the battle kwa hivyo ile Misri na Kanani of inspiration Kanani ni mahali ambapo utakuwa na uguzo a place where we our eyes are are illuminated mahali ambapo macho yetu yanafunguliwa Kanan is a place where our passion is renewed Kanani ni mahali ambapo motisha wetu ama shauku yetu inafanywa upya and we feel we are useful na tunajisikia kwamba sisi tunakuwa wa maana we are useful to ourselves sisi ni watu wa maana kwetu sisi we are useful to country tunakuwa wa maana hata kwa taifa praise the lord bwana asifiwe and we need to have this kind of a mindset na tunastahili kuwa na ngome ya mawazo kama haya and that is why jesus said na ndipo sasa yesu akasema come unto me all ye that labor john kwangu nyinyi nyote ambao mnasumbuka and are heavy laden na mumebeba mizigo mizito because before we gave our life to the lord jesus christ kwa sababu kabla tumpatie yesu maisha yetu we were Kongoa. we were carrying burdens tulikuwa tumebeba mizigo of sin and the death ya dhambi na kifo we never felt free hatukuwa tumesikia tumewekewa huru we were bowed tulikuwa tumefungwa and we did not imagine ourselves without carrying load and i pray that you be set free na ninaomba ya kwamba tuwekwe huru in the name of jesus katika jina la yesu and you believe that you can na uamini ya kwamba unaweza because egypt want to tell us you cannot kwa sababu misri inaambia hatuwezi egypt want to tell you you are useless misri inataka kutoa sisi wenyewe we do not need assistance hatustahili kuweza kusaidiwa we need to be set free Tuna... from what we call dependency syndrome tunastahili kuwe, ku, kuwekwa huru kutokana na hii mauseme mimi niko huru i can till my own land ninaweza lima nchi yangu mwenyewe and i can eat the fruits of my labor na ninaweza kula matunda ya mikono yangu bwana asifiwe bwana ni agoshwa 
Si useme mimi naweza kulima shamba yangu. Ndio kiuga no ulime mugoda wako mwene. Na nikule mazao ya shamba yangu. Na die masiaro ma mugoda wako mwene. Bwana asifiwe. Mwadha ni agoswa. Because you are free. Kwa sababu wewe uko huru. And we thank God when we are in this building. Na tunashukuru Mungu tukiwa katika jengo hili. When we started building this building, wakati tulipoanza mjengo wa jengo hili, we are saying we are going to build this sanctuary. Tulisema tutajenga hekalu hili. And the Lord you help us to build our own. Na Bwana atatusaidia tutajenga sisi wenyewe. And you and me when we see the beauty of this house. Na wewe na mimi tunapoangalia uzuri wa nyumba hii. We are proud because we have built it. Tunafurahia kwa sababu ni sisi tumejenga. Ikiwa wewe umetoa hata shilingi kwa nyumba hii si useme Bwana apewe utukufu. Aikolone wekireta shiriki ya kugoko dokio igoko kwa kuge mwadha ni aogoso. Na uangalie na uangalie. Na orole na orole. Na useme Mungu ni wewe umeniwezesha. Na ugai wewe ni wewe hotithetie. And this is the kind of liberation that we need to have. Na hii ndio aina ya uhuru ambao tunastahili kuwa nao. Because we are free. Kwa sababu sisi tuko huru. Bwana asifiwe. Mwadha ni aogoso. When you are mighty set When when you have Egypt mindset wakati unapokuwa na mawazo ya kimisri Egypt mindset will always make you so small mawazo ya kimisri wakati wowote atakufanya ujisikie mdogo anything that you think is too big chochote ambacho unakifikiria unaona ni kikubwa kwako and you yeah, and if because you have the Egypt mindset kwa sababu uko na ile mawazo ya kimisri But I am praying that we shall be set free. Lakini naomba ya kwamba tukawekwe huru. And we start seeing ourselves big. Na tukaweze kujiona tukiwa watu wakuu. Strong. Watu wenye nguvu. Bwana asifiwe. Mwadha ni agoswa. Because this is what God was telling Joshua. Kwa sababu hili ndilo Mungu anamwambia Joshua. Look at what Joshua was uh, God was telling Joshua in Joshua chapter 1. Hebu angalia kile ambacho Mungu anamwambia Joshua katika mlango wa kwanza wa Joshua. Verse number three. Katika mstari wa tatu. He was telling him I will give you every place. Alikuwa anamwambia kila mahali utakapokanyaga. You will set your feet ya kwamba utakapo pakanyaga as i promised moses hapo ndipo nitakupa kama nilivyomwapia musa praise the lord bwana asifiwe so and i like it where the, what the bible says i will give you where you set your feet your, na, your foot na ninapenda mahali ambapo biblia inasema ya kwamba nitakupa mahali utakapo kanyaga na nyayo zako and he said you are territory will extend from the desert of Lebanon to the great rivers of Euphrates. Ya kwamba eneo lako litakuwa limepanuka kutoka mto Efrati mpaka nchi yote ya Kanani. So God does not want you to see yourself as small. Mungu hataki ujione ukiwa mtu mdogo. You should see yourself as big. Wewe jione ukiwa mtu mkuu. Growing strong. Ukipata nguvu and a person who occupies. Na mtu ambaye anamiliki. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Unajua wakati nimekuwa nikisoma hii hedi ya gore tu ukithoma uhoro huyu nilikuwa nikisema Mungu ukirudisha maisha yangu miaka 20 ndio akoragwa gira mwadhani ukisokia mtulile wako miaka 3 edi na dhuda mimi sasa miaka 20 sikuwa ninaona hii miaka 2 edi dionaga udirona i wish i can go back 20 years ati koroho tu da shoka miaka dhuda miaka 2 edi na dhuda i would see no limit ninaweza kuona hasiwezi kuona vikwazo vyote lakini hata na miaka hii niliyonayo i want to declare ninataka kutangaza i am not limited ya kwamba sitakuvizuiliwa and i want to tell you you are not limited ninataka kukuambia wewe haujawekewa viwango kanyaga mahali takinyaga hadogo kanyaga hivi by faith takinyaga hadogo na wetekio and you will say what i will step on na useme mahali ambapo nitaweza kufanya kanyaga i will possess hapo ndio nitamiliki bwana asifiwe bwana asifiwe and those that are in business na wale ambao weko kwenye biashara i want to tell you you are not trying ninataka kukuambia kwamba si kujaribu na jaribu you are occupying wewe unamiliki guza watu wawili wa bie i am not trying hutia do leo mera I am occupying. Bwana asifiwe. And see you are so big. Na utione ukiwa mtu mkuu. And God was telling Joshua. Na angalia Mungu anamwambia Joshua. You are territory will extend. Ya kwamba eneo lako litapanuka. Guza watu wawili waambie you are territory. Hutia dwelio mere. Will extend. 
extend you shall expand you shall be settled you are not limited verse number 5 he was telling Joshua no one will be able to stand against you. And these are going to be our declaration. No one will stand against you. Mutu, no one will stand against you. No circumstance. Hakuna hali. No power. Hakuna nguvu. No witchcraft. Hakuna uganga. No nesea. Hakuna uchawi. Will stand against you. Utaweza Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we nullify every word that has ever been spoken against you. Anybody who said you will never excel you are excelling in the name of the Lord you are possessing you are growing you are growing in Jesus name hallelujah. hallelujah because the Lord is with you the Lord is with you the Lord is with us and we are not going to be limited and this is the way you need believe in yourself and believe in God praise the Lord and he told them as I was with Moses so I will be with you I will never forsake you no I will never leave you nor forsake you. That Sita is verse number five. Wala ni kuatilia katika mstari watano. Bwana asifiwe. Mwada ni agosu. Only be strong. Wewe kuwa hodari. Adikalejas. Na uwe suja. Gusa mutu muabie be strong. Mwehuti yosi yogi omwena. Adikalejas. Uwe hodari na uwe suja. Those people that are going to occupy wale watu watakaoweza kumiliki are not weak people. Sio wale watu wadhaifu. Na nikwambie God does not work with weak people. Na Mungu hatembei na watu wanyonge. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. The weak people died in the wilderness. Wale watu wanyonge walikufia jangwani. Only strong people ni wale tu wetu hodari are going to close over. Ndio tu watakaweza kuvuka mto. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Ulisa mwenzako. Uliosioge. Wewe ni weak ama ni strong? Wewe na hinyaka na wemo dulegelege. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. The weak could not. Wale ambao ni wadhaifu hawangeweza. The one who saw themselves as grasshoppers. Wale waliojiona kama died in the wilderness. Bwana asifiwe. If you see yourself as a grasshopper, you have no future. Only those who see themselves as God is them occupies the land even at their old age. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that is why Caleb would say I am strong. Give me that mountain. Give me that mountain. Because grasshoppers do not occupy. They die in the wilderness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I pray Nani, that we will have that kind of a mindset. Nani naomba ya kwamba tuwe na mawazo haya. Slaves are restricted. Wale wa, wale watumwa wanazuiliwa. They are always waiting for instructions. Wanagodeaga tu wapewe mashauri na mwelekeo. They are strangers. Wao ni wageni. They never settle. Wao hawatuli. They are small. Wao ni wadogo. But you are not small. Lakini wewe sio mdogo. Bwana asifiwe. Mwana ni agosho. So I am saying see yourself going far. It is the only way that you are going to 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 excel. And you cannot do anything. Lakini na hauwezi kufanya lolote. When you see yourself small. Unapoziona mdogo. 
there are people who suffer from the inferiority complex. Kuna watu wanao 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 kuwa na ile hali ya kusafa kwa sababu ya hiyo hali ya kuziona hawawezi. Complex is a disease. Ni ile kujiona huwezi ni ugonjwa. That you see yourself even there are people their background ne wahana kuna watu maisha yao kuna watu walikwambia wewe ni bure kuna ndo mako ile wewe tu ho na kila wakati unasikia maneno hayo ikikwambia wewe ni bure na hii sio the reason ya leo uliuka katika kuridikania na ndo ho kila si zote tumezaliwa na kuna watu hata ikiwa wengine ni wazazi wako Some of them are your teachers some of them are your teachers again ali mo Others are your brothers and sisters. brothers yakuna sisters yakuna. And they tell you you cannot. Na wako kuambia kwamba wewe hauwezi. But believe that you can. Lakini yamini ya kwamba unaweza. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. And be strong. Na uwe na uwe jasiri. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. And do not be afraid. Lakini wewe usiwe mdhaifu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see yourself the way God sees you. Wewe ujione vile ambavyo Mungu anakuona. In the, in the, 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 there is a picture that comes in the social media. Kuna picha ambayo inakuja kwenye eh, kule kwa mitandao of a cat ya ya, ya yule paka akijiangalia kwa kio. Paka anajiangalia kwa kio. Lakini anaona lion. Na ke, kanya uka ukero la gesi hiyo ine gakaona murudhi. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana ni agosho. Ukijiangalia usijione kama paka. Wehero ratika kuiona takanyahu jione kama lion wione we murudhi bwana asifiwe mwadha ni agosho the king of the jungle wewe jione wewe ndiye mfalme wa jangwa i was listening to another clip nilikuwa ninaangalia ka clip kingine and I, and I, and this person was saying na huyo mtu alikuwa anasema when a lion look at or look at a, an elephant wakati simba anapomtazama eh, yule yule ndovu Dof, ndovu anaona chakula anaona kana hizi ni hiyo bwana asifiwe bwana asifiwe na unajua dofu ina usito mara nyingi kuliko simba na urore jogu ile iga na ukirorania na murudhi lakini simba ikiona dofu no murudhi warora jogu oguo inaona chakula unaona kana hizi ni hiyo ikimuona girafu unaona girafu inaona chakula iko na hizi ni hiyo it does not suffer Eh hey, hey, murodhi ndo kola go kimaka bwana asifiwe bwana asifiwe tell the person next to you there is no mountain mwambie mwenzako ya kwamba hakuna mlima that you cannot cry ambao hauwezi kuupanda this is what the lord was telling joshua hii ndio mungu alikuwa anamwambia yoshua there is no tribe ya kwamba hakuna no nation will stand before you hakuna kabila wala taifa litasimama mbele yako you are more than a kogala wewe ni zaidi ya mshindi you are going to be established ya kwamba wewe utaweza kudhibitika praise the lord bwana asifiwe therefore do not remain in the wilderness kwa hivyo wenyewe msikae tu pale jangwani praise the lord bwana asifiwe abia mwenzako run don't remain in the wilderness mwambie mwenzako ya kwamba usikae tu pale jangwani You know the wilderness nyika, is in between niko katikati mwa Egypt Misri and Canaan na Kanani there are people they have moved from Egypt kuna watu ambao walitoka nchi ya utumwa but instead of going to Canaan lakini badala ya kuingia nchi ya, ya Kanani they settle in the wilderness walitulia pale nyikani Mwambie mwenzako don't settle in the wilderness. Mwambie mwenzako usitulie pale katikati pale nyikani. And I want to tell you in the wilderness is in between. Na ninataka nikuambia kwamba nyikani ni pale katikati. Ni katikati. Ni katikati, ni katikati. A place of transition. Ni mahali ambapo ni pa kuingiza kuingia. Bwana asifiwe. Mwadha ni agosho. And in in and it is in between. Na ni katikati mwa wanaka wanaka you don't know whether you go this direction or this direction maikara gogo matimenya gathina guku kana joke na guku mwambie mtu usikae jagwani ile osio getiga guikara ku weruine because in the wilderness kwa sababu kule nyikani is a period of uncertainty ni wakati ule ambapo hauja hauja tosheleka hujui kama wewe samani tulikuwa tukisema hujui kama huko ule ule ore dei no waru wakana we sijui kwa kikuda i'm trying to bring it no wakana we ro waine kana we jaga thaine 
You don't know whether you are a slave. You don't know whether you are free. How do we come away with Kohuru? But it is in between. Lakini ni pale katikati. But it is a place of transition. Lakini ni mahali pape ambapo unataka kuingia. Where you move from your old self. Mahali ambapo unatoka kwa 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 wewe mwenyewe. And you go to your new self. Na unaingia kwa mahali ambapo unatakiwa uingie. So even if you are in the wilderness. Kwa hivyo hata kama uko pale nyikani. Say that I am closing over. Sema ya kwamba sasa ninavuka. If you are in a certain wilderness because all of us kwa sababu unaweza kuwa katika nyika kwa sababu sisi sote at one time or the other kwa wakati mmoja maishani utajikuta jagwani ni wikoraga wewe ruine simwambie mtu katika maisha utajikuta jagwani ukirio sioge mtu uliri ni ukweli mwe wikoraga wewe ruine lakini usifie kule no dogai uge kwira kwa wewe ruine nani ameshawahi kujikuta jagwani no anekora wewe ruine una una ujui ukaliona namna gani ukaliona uni nako nikuthii kana nikushoka kana ninako lakini ni vizuri useme sitakufia jagwani no ni wega uge digukwira haha wero ine hata siku ya leo ukiwa huko jagwani ona muthi uyo ukikorwa wewe wero ine sema sitakufa uga digukwa i know many young people they pass through, through this jagwa ne joye andu aingi ethi ni mageraga wero ine uyu When you finish school, wakati unapomaliza shule, unaingia kwa kwa wilderness kidogo. Uingira kwa weroine hanini. Kwa sababu kama sisi tulipo ulikimaliza secondary na muna hiyo, kama wazazi si... walikuwa wakisema wewe nimekupa masomo yote na kwenda sasa wewe ukajitegemea. Taidhue tu alikia secondary, asialima tu elile leu, ndako hagithomo giothe kiria kiragireire. Leu wewe ifange. Hata kufukuswa unafukuswa nyumbani. Ona kuingatwa kaingatwa mushie. Sinakuwa na muna hiyo. Na ile tiguo guo. Wana shidwa unafanya nini? Makali guo wewe nikiureka guko mushie. Na unajua unakuwa jagwani. Na ruo gakikoro uingirite wero ine. And I usually tell uh, tell us here. Na wakati mwingi ninawaambia sisi hapa. And I, I finished school and there was a time I was in that jangwa kidogo wakati nilipomaliza shule niliingia kwa hiyo jangwa kiasi and i went to narobi i didn't know anybody na nikaingia pale mjini narobi na sikumjua mtu yeyote and uh, there was a time nilikuwa nina nina fa ile nini ya masai na kwena hida de kiraga kire eh eh ginyera ile sia madhai nilikuwa ni una ka istrad dai maga kore ya menere ya kayore menere ya istan na na nilowaambia nilikuwa nimeandikwa mahali nilikuwa manager wa hotel na dad kitu hadu ni manager wa mkawa fulani na katika hotel hiyo na thini wa mkawa wasio tulikuwa tuna tu, tunapikia watu miru moja tu twarugaga o ilio mudhebo mwe tu kwa hivyo ninatoka asubuhi mapema kwa hivyo dauma ukamushie tena nina kanyaga na ginyira kutoka Kake istra kagetwekania na ginyira sia kwa mpaka likoni road kinyaga kinyakore ya farafara ya likoni na na na, na tunapika natoka keruga chakula tukigoja watu wa jerani tukaruga ilio natoka geterera andu magiokeraji alafu tuna wasaf natoka getweka wa kwa mahagaira unafuga mukahawa natoka higa mukahawa na siku moja na, eh, tajiri wangu alikuwa amenunua tulikuwa tunanunua saduku bili ya, ya, ya soda na mudenyo mwe bosi wako ni twagura mathanduko mere ria soda akakuta nikikunywa soda agikora ngenywa soda akasema umekura 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 profit yote akiuga woi 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 no wale ya no wale faida yote manager amekura profit yote akiuga manager ni akiria faida yote alafu unaenda nyumbani na ukakeinuka it was hard hali ulito munene tulikuwa na 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 na, na dungu mwingine tole na brother oge tukisota sana tulikuwa tunatafuta mkate na kuna mahali tulikuwa tunausiwa kikombe ya supu eh sumuni twanoka muno ni twagithia i don't know kama kuna watu wanajua 50 cents tukagura mugate na ni joe ando ingi no koroni marali kana dungu na 50 cents tunanunua nusu mkate tunakula kwa gora mugatenu dhudhumuni na tukagura gikombe ya dhufu dhumuni 
hata kuna wakati hatukuwa na mahali pa kulala tulikuwa tunalala festival ya kanisa ona hehe de tutako la guo kundu kwa guko matu wako maku kanithaini tulikuwa tunalala nyuma ya kanisa kama kwa maana hau theini na hau thutha kanithaini mwambie mwenzako wilderness ero sio ngi uyu ni weru dwai ruku laika ya mu in the wilderness tamurore tarora riu wonekana ni haroneka ta uliza mwenzako anaonekana kama hapo jagwani ni urona ta ari weru ni kweli Usiseme ya kwamba utakufa. Duka uwi ati ni ugukua. Bwana asifiwe. Mwadhani ya gosho. Today I wore the, this kabaji. Kwa hivyo leo ninavalia hii baji. Kuna wakati hata nilikuwa ninausa tu baji twingine tulikuwa tukiuza eh, enzi zetu. Kwa hivyo tulikuwa e, tunaandikwa Jesus saves. Kwa hivyo baji gida akoragwa gedia dedagia mahida ine masio cia akoragwa ciandikitwo Jesus ni ahonokanagia. Unaku, unakumbuka tu baji kama hiyo? Na no, ulirikana tu baji tu hana gogwo. Other times I was going to Marigiti very early in the morning. Wakati mwingine nilikuwa naingia pale soko la Marigiti mapema sana. Tunanunua maembe. Tukagula maembe, alafu tunaweka hapo tunasema tano tano tano. Na tukama arahaude tukaje kutaga thaithano ithano ithano ithano. Na jioni tunapata chakula. Na hawaini tukaikoro tuna kidu ya kulia. Another time I was very, we were very innovative to kanza kuuza makoton na wakati mwingine tulikuwa wabunifu sana hata tukatafuta zile makoton kwa sababu ni wakati wa plums ni todo ni hida ya plums watu wakileta plums sasa tunawauzia cotton ya ku ya kupeleka plums mbona ndio magio kana daradhi ni sio tukage siekira tukama ndalia makoton mago and you are going all over na tumtoa gethia ya kundu guothe collecting cartons tukieda makotoni alafu unakalia juu na ukagikalira hale makotoni ukagikalira hale igoro goja customer uyatereire ma customer abia mwenzako jagwani ero sio giweruine hauishi milele dogotora ho tena tena usikufie jagwani na dogage kuire weruine i'm saying this to encourage somebody ninasema hili kumtia mtu nguvu siwaambie mwenzako uh, he is saying that to encourage somebody Mwambie mwenzako anasema hivyo akutie nguvu. I wish you were here when uh, Elder Kalioki was 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 we were having ile dinner ya, ya vijana na alituambia mambo mengi sana. Na kama ungekuwa hapo wakati evangelist alikuwa anatuambia wakati wa chakula cha jioni cha cha vijana hapa. I wish yangelikuwa hapa na utupatie hiyo story siku hii. Kama ungekuwa hapa naomba ya kwamba siku moja atatupatia hiyo historia. Bwana asifiwe. Mwadhani ya gosho. At one time you will find yourself in the wilderness. Siku moja utajipata huko nyikani. But don't die in the wilderness. Lakini usikufie nyikani. Bwana asifiwe. Wadhani ya Goshuo. And the, the wilderness is a school. Katika jangwa hii ni shule tu. And don't waste your lessons. Na usipoteze kile umesoma. Guza watu wawili uwaambie, hutia shule umere. Usitupe lessons zako. Dokana take leo kuthoma. Even those that be, you think that they have excelled. Wakati mwingine unafikia kile umesoma ya kwamba kimeondoka hakitafaidia. There are those that are employed. Kuna wale ambao wameajiriwa. They will tell you before they get to where they are. Watakuambia kabla wafike mahali walipo. What they have gone through. Kile ambacho wamepitia. But may God transform you. Na Bwana akaweze kukubadilisha. May the wilderness makes you responsible na jangwa ikakufanya kuwa mtu ambaye amejukumika because wilderness is a place of transformation kwa sababu jangwa ni mahali ya kubadilishwa you are transiting from being a slave Unato- to a responsible person unatoka katika ile hali ya kuwa mtumwa na kuingia mahali ambapo unajukumika because when you are in the wilderness kwa sababu wakati unapokuwa jangwani there is something that is being erased kuna kitu ambacho kinafutwa so that The another package might be fed in your mind ili ya kwamba na kitu kingine kikawekezwa ndani ya mawazo yako so that you can be well packed by the lord ili ya kwamba ukaweze kuwa mtu ambaye ametengenezwa vizuri na Mungu so may god help us na bwana atusaidie and we have the mindset of canaan na tuwe na mawazo ya kikanani where we are well able wa mahali ambapo tunaweza where we can see ourselves the way we are mahali ambapo tunaweza jiona vile ambavyo tuko bwana asifiwe wadhani ya gosho so it is important for you to, to see yourself kwa hivyo ni maana sana ukajione wewe as person who is going far kama mtu ambaye anaenda mbali i'm, I'm only giving a, a laying foundation of what i will be teaching na sasa tu ninaweka tu msingi wa yale mafundisho nitakuwa nikiendeleza but let me tell you lakini wacha niwaambie 
there are people who crossed the red sea kuna watu ambao walivuka bahari ya shamu the soldiers that crossed the red sea wale maaskari ambao walivuka bahari ya shamu god could not allow them to go to canaan mungu hangewaruhusu waingie nchi ya kanaani because their minds were plagued with egyptian egypt mindset kwa sababu mawazo yao yalikuwa yamejawa na ile mawazo ya kimisri they were always wishing if they were back in kila wa, in egypt kila wakati walifikiria na kusema kana kwamba tu tungekuwa misri wakipata shida kidogo walikuwa wanasema tutarudi misri kwa sababu kulikuwa na malenge na watermelon masema nyana kadhina hani ni moiga kafa misri tuoreaga malenge na mameloni they were always grabbery complaining wakilalamika they were always and god was not happy with them kila wakati walinungunika na kulalamika na mungu hakupendezwa nao so god did not allow them to go kwa hivyo kanan kwa hivyo mungu hakuwakubalia waingie nchi ya hadi because if they went to kanan with that mindset kwa sababu wakiingia nchi ya hadi na hayo mawazo the nations that were there could kill them male mataifa ambayo yalikuwa pale kanani yangewaua so god allowed them to be finished in the wilderness. Kwa hivyo Mungu akaruhusu ya kwamba waweze kufia kule jangwani. And they gave birth to another generation. Na wakaweza kuzaa kizazi kingine. And this generation is the one that was given Joshua. Na hiki kizazi sasa ndio kinapewa Joshua. Now to cross not let the sea. Nao sasa wanavuka na sio bahari ya Shamu. They cross Jordan. Wanavuka mto wa Yordani. And even God did not allow those people who crossed from egypt na mungu pia hakuruhusu wale watu ambao walitoka misri to circumcise their children wakaweza kuwatahiri wana wao but they they waited for all those years na walingozea miaka hiyo yote so that when they cross jordan ili ya kwamba wakivuka tu mto yordani that is when they were circumcised hapo ndipo waliweza kutahiriwa so that they may become mature ili ya kwamba wakaweza kukoma and take responsibility na wakochukue majukumu because god was renewing the covenant kwa sababu mungu alikuwa anafanya upya ahadi ama agano lile all those that were circumcised on the other side wale ambao walikuwa wametahiriwa ngambo ya mto they died in the wilderness walikufia kule jangwani so wilderness there are people who will die in the wilderness kwa hivyo so with they are they they had to die kwa hivyo lazima wakatifwa and now god you had to make the Joshua generation na Mungu ameinua kizazi cha the generation that was ready to occupy kizazi ambacho kilikuwa tayari kubiriku wana asifiwe wana ni amasho and we want to say we are the Joshua generation na sisi tunasema sisi ni uzao wa Yosho generation that is ready to occupy kizazi ambacho kilikuwa tayari kubiriku wana asifiwe wana ni amasho you say i am Joshua generation and ready to occupy na ndio yale kwa And when they crossed the Jordan, na wakati walipovuka mto wa Jordan, Joshua aliambiwa atayalishe. Joshua kiwa mahalelie. Every male person to be circumcised. Ati mtu wote mtu mume ndege na aruwe. Na kwa hivyo aliambiwa na Mungu tafuta mawe. Kaya yake vera Joshua enda hiva na mawe yale yanakaa vizuri. Na hivi ndani yake. Na bila nilifikiri when we were growing up kuna kuna mawe sijui watu walikuwa wakisema yanatoka vikundi yanaitwa jura jura nafikiri ni mara ingine iko iko very sharp na ile ile sio kuna na hema hitazo mambo mambo mete matibu mole mahinga meta kwa jura jura mode kwa mambo mambo najua mawe kuna mawe ingine naona mahinga masio mahinga mambo kwa hivyo aliambiwa tafuta mawe mungu yeye yuo ende hinga sema mawe mawe hinga kwa hivyo alitafuta mawe yale safi. Hadi leo hii gari yote na kila mwanaume na mwanamume wote ni lazima atahiriwe. Ndoti ni aruwe na mawe na rudio na hiba. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana ni adosho. Sema watu watatahiriwa. Because you are not going to occupy the land. Ndoto kokuwa kwa tira. With the old fresh. Ukiwa na ile 
unajua kutahiri is cutting off excess flesh unajua ya kwamba kule kutahiri ni kuondoa ile gozi ile gozi ambayo haitahiri sema excess flesh sema hiyo gozi haitahiri uzalimiana hawana because because without excess flesh kwa sababu ukiwa na hiyo gozi you can not occupy hauwezi ukamiliki So there must be circumcision. Na kwa hivyo lazima kuwe na kutahiri. Na kwa hivyo Joshua aliwa aliwa waweka kwa mlai. Kwa hivyo Joshua akiwa kwa karaini wana asifiwe. Wana ni Joshua. If you are going to occupy, kama utaweza kumiliki, ni lazima utahiriwe. Na ukinyauwe, akia when sako ni lazima utahiriwe. Ila sio kila kinyauwe. So that with the excess flesh, if kiwa na ile ngozi hakuna na 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 mawe na kina urue na urue hizo na jina sio biblia inasema nende tumukie kali na kiraupa salimia watu wawili gaidia kwenye so that you can be new ili yakomba uwe mtu mpya in fact it said they must be circumcised again because they they they, they, they and god was to renew the covenant kwa sababu Mungu alisema lazima watahiri kwa sababu lazima afanye upya agano lake all those that were circumcised there before wale ambao walikuwa wametahiriwa pale mbeleni they died in the wilderness hao wote walikufia kule nyama they had the mighty set of egyptian wakiwa na ile mawazo ya kimisri but this is now a new generation lakini hiki ni kizazi kipya a generation that needed to know god kizazi ambacho kinastahili kumjua Mungu and god was renewing this covenant na Mungu alikuwa anafanya upya ngano lile bwana asifiwe bwana ni abasho i wish i wish i had more time usi usi kose second second lesson tukale tukale second time na because there was a song i was singing in the morning kuna wimbo ambao nilikuwa nenda uimba asubuhi and i and i was singing silent train at around at around 3 in the morning nilikuwa na uimba kwa sauti masaa ya saa tisa asubuhi and, uh, and, uh, and this is the song for those who do not understand I, 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 can, i can translate later na hii ndio wimbo kwa wale ambao hawata uelewa pengine nitamtafsiri baadaye wimbo pengine mama ajakie na, na mama yopitio anaweza kujua wimbo huu na ukoro mama wanja wimbo huu kwa sababu ya interruption alafu tukaomba ukiwa una simu yako unaweza Kainero hagia ile kaniro igatwe kajero kore dioa
Akiuga nie kwiruta moyo wake Okiasha nie machiaro mukuyuri Alimire na itiri nie dhumu Gulia nika tuika machiaro Nyokire na gekua na kiliuka Na kirika nila na luto wake Abata na geroho ni agoka Agutu mamutu ikia odeli wadi Ni aga asvira nulili shio Wana asifiwe Wada ni agoshi wo The whole of that song is saying God the news covenant Huwa wimbo wote unasema ya kwamba Mungu watafanya upi ya gano Wana asifiwe Wada ni agoshi wo Na God is is renewing his covenant with us. If you are feeling like you are defeated, I want you to see yourself as a champion. The Lord is renewing his covenant. And that is why the Israelites had to go through the river again just as they went through the Red Sea. Na ndiposa wana wa Israeli wangepitia tena kuvuka mto wa Yordani kama vile walivyokuwa wamepitia ilikuwa ni hali ya kufanywa upya agano tena and the lord is renewing his covenant with us na bwana anafanya agano tena upya nasi so that we may occupy ili kwamba tukaweze kumiliki we cannot go to canaan land with the egyptian my mindset hatuwezi ingia katika nchi ya kanani na mawazo ya kimisri and i want to pray for us to be courageous na ninataka niwaombe tuwe wajasiri bwana asifiwe amen simama ni kuombe uwe mjasiri roho kama nigetha guhoere uwe tuweke mudu ina hinya it and the circumcision is a must ya kwamba hii hali ya tohara ni lazima unajua circumcision ilikuwa ni transition kutoka ujana tumtumuzima unaramenya eh, una, hedeo yako korua ne yale hida ya kuma wa naine kuingira odoine wa modo mugima mtumzima ugatuweka modo mugima kwa hivyo ni lazima wagefanywa watu wazima kogo no ginya magi atuirwa ndu agima na unajua walipofika kanani na hedeo maigirire bururi wa kanani kule jagwani walikuwa wakilishwa na Mungu kutoka na maana ya kutoka biguni kule wero ina maha yako ilio na maana maku mama twine lakini kanani walikuwa wakilimba mashaba yao no kanani ne kuiremera mere magira magoda yao kule kanani walikuwa wanapigana vita vyao kule kanani maru wagabara oene na wanasukuma makabila na magatideka mafororo na wana wanamiliki na makegwatera Jagwani walikuwa wakisuguka. Kole awero ini nogo dhiororo kama dhiororo. Lakini kanani walijipatia mashamba. No kanani nimego wateire megoda. Mahali walimiliki walipaita pao. Kole amego wateire magetueka kwa unikuwa kwao. Sema hata mimi nitakuwa kwangu. Ugona nie omothe ni kunegugi ya nago wakwa. I will settle. Na nego tueka wako sato. I'm not going to be nomad forever. Digo tueka wako uroraga hede siyode. And I'm declaring in the name of the Lord. Nani natangaza kwa jina la bwana. You are not going to be a nomad ya kwamba hautakuwa mzururaji sema sitakuwa mzururaji ugadigo tuweka wako ururaga ahete siyode i will not be moving from one business to the other digo tura nyuma ga bisi ashare no kadhiri yake i declare in the name of the lord inatangaza kwa jina la bwana you will settle in one business ya kwamba utatulia kwa biashara moja that will make you prosperous ya kwamba itakufanya ufanikiwe zaidi bwana asifiwe bwana asifiwe because where you will settle kwa sababu mahali utatulia is your inheritance hapo ndio urithi wako god has your inheritance bwana ako na urithi wako Sema sita zurura tena Uga digo tura dhia kakuma haki nyare haki Kule jagwa ni waliogopa Kule ya weru ini nimeti kiraga Hata waliogopa nyoka Na nimeti kiraga kinya nyoka Na mabo megine Na ito ike Lakini kanani Lakini wakipofika kanani Uwoni kanani wakiogopa nyoka Kule ya kanani tutirona mageti kiraga nyoka Wana asifiwe Wadha ni agoswo Na hawa ogopi watu Na matia tikiraga kinya adu 
Bwana asifiwe. Mwana niagoso. I'm praying for you this morning. Ninawaombea asubuhi ya leo. That may God say to you. Ya kwamba Mungu akupe kutulia. May God say to you. Ya Mungu akutulize sasa. There are people in our in our midst that are not settled. Kuna watu miongoni mwetu bado hawajatulia. Wanasikia wamehangaika. Mara igwa ne makoleto makedhene kama. Hawana bere wala nyuma. Matimanya kana ni bere kana ni na dhuda. But I declare in the name of the Lord. Lakini natangaza kwa jina la Bwana. From today. Kuanzia leo. Hautahangaika. You will be well focused in the name of the Lord. And you are going to be settled. How to hagaishwa na my Egyptians? And because I want us to pray very fast. You tell God, I want to settle now. Anybody who need that prayer, I want to pray. I want a very quick prayer. Lift up your hand. You are feeling you need, you need to settle in your mind. Lift up your hand. I want to pray with you. And I always say it is not weakness to be prayed for. You are telling God, say to me now. Lift up your hand. I want to pray with you. I can see that one hand. And at the back and you come forward. Come forward. Let's let's come just come forward. Let's come forward. Let's come forward. Let's come forward. Let's come forward. This prayer, I want to declare it in your to declare it in the name of the Lord. I want to pray and to declare it in your life today. You are not going to be a nomad. You are going to settle. You leave. You are going to settle. We want to pray with our sisters. I think all the brothers are settled. One. We want to pray in the name of the Lord. If you still coming I want to ask the elders to come aloud. We want to pray with our sisters. And we want to declare a blessing upon this. Nataka kuwatangazia kwamba hamtafia jagwani. Na ndirenda kumwira mutigo kuwira weruine. Bwana atawafanya wamiliki. Ngai ni akumutua mwigwatire. Mutamiliki. Ni mukuigwatira. You will settle. Ni mukuhuruka. God will settle you. Ngai ni akumuhuruka.